Hi and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I wanted to talk through the 12 item work wardrobe and I have done a previous video on this which I'm going to link up in the cards. That one's a little bit more spring summer oriented. This definitely has a little bit more of an autumn winter feel especially with the color palette. Essentially the idea for this video for me is the foundational building blocks of your work wardrobe Especially if you want to minimize how many items you're purchasing uh, And this will be a really great starting point for those of you who are entering the workforce To really complement these items I would suggest having a few more options for spring summer and for autumn winter So that you can really maximize the versatility and styling choices that you have at your disposal So starting with the first top that I recommend you have in your work wardrobe it is a shell top. So for me, this is something that is sleeveless. However, I know some workplaces can be incredibly strict, especially if you live in the US. So you may need something that has a cap sleeve or just a general short sleeve like I'm wearing right now. The one that I've decided to include in this capsule, and you're gonna see it in action at the end of this video, I'll share some outfit ideas, is this one here, which I got from Uniqlo U. And what I like about this is that it actually has texture to it. So it makes it feel much more interesting and it can really add dimension and for me can make those work outfits feel a little bit more interesting. It has a really nice high neckline so very very modest and actually the thing I like about this one is that it has a bit of a uh, dropped shoulder so it does cover your shoulders ever so slightly and this is actually a good one that I feel can do double duty for the weekend as well. For something that is a little bit more covered up, you could always go for something like this. Again, in a knitted fabrication, uh, it does have a nice loose fit to it, which I think works really well, especially if you're wearing something more fitted on your lower half. Other options would be something like a silk tank, uh, though I do recommend having something with much wider straps on the shoulder just to cover up a bit more skin, but these, I mean, silk in general is just a really nice luxe fabric to wear for the office. Alternatively, something like this, which uh, this is sheer, so I would wear a little bodysuit or a singlet underneath just for modesty purposes. But this one here is really interesting because it does cover your shoulders, has the little buttons here, and then it has a peplum, which you could either wear out or tucked in. Second item is gonna be your classic button down shirt. And my recommendation for this would be to go for one that isn't too fitted, but also isn't too oversized. Um, I do like something that again, I can actually take to the weekend as well. Uh, so it's not just going to be serving one single purpose in my wardrobe. This is really how I like to shop. I like to think about options and versatility. So I have this one here from Everlane, which has a nice little pocket here on the bust. This to me is a good all rounder. Uh, it's Slightly loose, not too voluminous though, not as much as um, I have a shirt from Moya which is incredibly oversized, uh, but it does just give me some really nice volume and shape and looks really great worn loose or tucked in as well for a bit more of a formal outfit. The next top is the silk blouse and I have two alternatives that I wanted to show you here. You could obviously go for something with a very classic pointed collar, but I think when you've got these basic pieces in your closet, sometimes you want to show a little bit of personality and inject a little bit of you into it. So the first one, and this is the top that I'm going to include in the outfits in this capsule, is from Cezanne. And what I like about this is the lattice lace detailing as well as the embroidery around the collar which just drapes so beautifully when worn open but also creates a really nice almost Edwardian effect when worn buttoned up. And again being in silk it just has that really lovely texture to it. It just feels so lush and very uh, elegant and refined. Another option would be to go for something that has a mandarin collar, it doesn't have a pointed collar. And I actually prefer shirts like this, I just feel they work a little bit better on my uh, body type. But I have this one here which is from Cos, uh, which I just thought I would share as an option. So this has sort of that deep V, uh, it is a little bit lower so I would wear a camisole under something like this. And then the sleeves actually have an inverted cuff, so you can't actually see that detail there. But it creates a really nice weight at the cuff. And because it is really long, again, this is one that you could wear loose, uh, maybe on casual Friday. Uh, that looks great tucked in and is another one that I would personally wear on the weekend too. I always feel like there's room for a bit of a wild card piece and 
I like to again do that with the top and go for something that really does show my personality and really is elevated and special and uh, a little bit unlike anything else that I'm including. So I wanted to go for this really beautiful pleated top. This one's from Elizabeth and James. I've had it for many years now. It has this fine pleated effect up at the neckline and then it gets a little bit wider towards the hem and then the bell sleeves. This looks amazing when worn underneath a blazer. It can be worn loose but also tucked in and again another one that I could also wear out for dinner. So if I was going from work to dinner with friends but I wanted to be dressed up this be a beautiful top to wear and then maybe I could just untuck it from my trousers and maybe switch up my shoes and I would be all good to go. Moving on to more knitted tops, uh, first one I would say is this long sleeve fitted knitted top. Um, this one's from Forecast and again there's a little bit of detail here that makes it feel much more interesting to me. So you have the fine knit on the body of the top but then on the sleeves you do have the ribbed effect which I think just creates a little bit of subtle contrast and if you're wearing a blazer it's going to be hidden but as soon as you take it off you do have that nice detail and it is what I would call an elevated basic. Um, I really love the color of this too because I think it is so versatile. You really don't need to go for black, white and grey when it comes to the office. You can go full on color. I personally really like earthy neutrals which is what I've tried to incorporate into uh, this little mini capsule. The next item which I think should be a core piece in your work wardrobe especially for the colder months is a really great uh, knitted jumper and you definitely don't need to just go for a crew neck. I decided to include as part of my 12 item capsule mock neck cashmere knit. This one's from Kuyana uh, and it does look very nice and elegant on. Uh, again you don't have to go for basic black you could always go for a bit of color so um, I really like this one here from Quince which is just their classic cashmere crew. Incredible value for money by the way in case you were looking at cashmere knit sweater options. Alternatively even a really pretty sort of a mint colour. This works so well with navies, um, like the trousers I've got on right now, with greys. Uh, it, it really is a lot more versatile than you would uh, imagine. And this one here was from Cos. Then I think it's really nice to have some sort of a dress in your work capsule. So the one I'm going to be including is this one here from Theory and it has this really beautiful daisy print to it. So this is a really nice way to incorporate some print into your work wardrobe. Uh, I do find that something that is a little bit more classic that you are happy to return back to over and over again is your best bet. I generally like to go for prints that are a little bit more muted as I do find those bolder louder prints as beautiful as they are. They are incredibly memorable and are a bit of a statement so feel more like items that you would wear sometimes as opposed to all the time. And what I like about this one here is actually it's really great for layering. So that beautiful cashmere knit that I showed you before from Kuyana, that would look really nice worn under this in the winter months, also paired with some tights and some boots. Uh, and you could also just put a really nice interesting belt at the waist. It does have a little tie here which creates a really fun peplum. Um, this one is going to be old now but I will try and find some alternatives to link in the description box. I kind of feel like the core dress in a work wardrobe is sort of a fitted or a sheath dress. So I did just want to show you an option just to give you an idea or a sense of uh, what that is and that would be something like this one here from Forecast. So this has a ribbed detail to it again um, both down the bodice it has almost a really fine rib knit here at the waist uh, and actually what I would do with a dress like this is I would maybe wear a really interesting belt. Um, I have this one here which I bought from Alexander McQueen. It's a double belt uh, which is a little bit kind of gothic but I think that creates a bit of visual interest and is again like a, I keep talking about this but a way to inject personality into what you are wearing uh, and makes basics feel a little bit more interesting but that is always a good staple to have but if you want something that's a bit more fun go for a beautiful printed piece, maybe one that works really well when layered. So I know skirts and dresses aren't for everyone and a lot of people just like to wear trousers for work and I do have you covered on that but I did just want to show you a couple of skirt options too because that's the next item that I recommend having as part of your core capsule for the office. So 
I really like pleats for work because I think they have beautiful movement to them. Uh, it's part of the reason why I chose that pleated dress. Uh, and again, it's just visually interesting and it's a way to make your outfits feel a little bit more exciting. So as part of this capsule, I'm including this skirt here. This one's again from Forecast. Has this nice little D-ring belt at the waist uh, and is really nice and long. It's a midi length. So for the office, especially if you work somewhere corporate, I would always recommend going for something that comes to the knee or longer. Uh, I just think that's the most appropriate length. Uh, some workplaces will have very uh, strict rules and regulations around what you can wear, but it's always your safest bet, especially if you are starting in a new workplace. And this, I mean, such a beautiful neutral and pairs back to so many of these items that I've showed you already really nicely and actually looks great when worn with navy too. If you like more of a pencil skirt and want a way to incorporate a bit more texture into your work outfits, then I would maybe say look out for some kind of a knitted skirt. So this one's from Series Life and it's a really nice long midi length skirt and it's quite fitted. So I find that this is the type of thing that does work well going from work to weekend again because you could throw it on with sneakers in the weekend and a really nice big oversized sweater but then equally works great for the office warm with white button down shirt, blazer and some heels. Um, some other brands that do really beautiful knitted styles and even ones that have a little bit more shape through the skirt would be Anna Kwan. Um, I believe Theory also do some really nice ones. Uh, and oh, there's another brand. Uh, and uh, on the iconic, if you're in Australia, Air has plenty of really beautiful options too. Next, we have the tailored trouser. And for me, I always say this over and over again, the high-waisted, slim-fitting crop trouser is the way to go, as far as I'm concerned, in a work wardrobe. And I think that's a good place to start. After that, you can really build on uh, the trousers that you have and opt for a few different silhouettes. Like right now, I'm wearing this really lovely, uh, quite long, but high-waisted, wide-leg trousers. So my top place to go for trousers that are really great for the office and that will not break the bank is Uniqlo. These ones almost have a wool felted effect to them and I really like the grid design on the trouser. It's a pattern but it feels very subtle. It's very subdued and isn't louder in your face which again is something that I think is uh, really a must when it comes to building your corporate work wardrobe. Uh, and the fit of them is really great. Uniqlo, if you shop in store, actually have a free alteration service as well, which I highly recommend taking up if you are on the more petite side. And I find these trousers fit really well. They wash really well. Um, I have purchased many pairs of their Easy Pants over the years and cannot recommend them enough. Next we have the blazer, which is definitely one of those foundational building blocks you need to have in your work wardrobe for a corporate environment. The one I'm going to include in my capsule is this black one here from the Uniqlo Jill Sander collection um, collaboration. And I really like the fact that this is a bit more of a tuxedo style. It is a little bit more lightweight being half being only partially lined so it's one that I know I could easily take through to spring summer and then also wear all through autumn winter as well. If you wanted something that was a little bit lighter and perhaps a little bit more tapered and tailored to the body, Theory is a bit more of a high-end option uh, but I think quite often you can find their blazers and jackets on sale. So this is the Etienne blazer which I've got in the light grey, a really beautiful fabrication option for the warmer months and they do matching uh, pant bottoms and things as well if you want to go for a power suit as opposed to mismatched separates which is what I'm doing here. Okay so of course you need to have a really good coat for the office too um, and I always feel like something that is quite elegant that is a timeless design and something that you will feel very happy to continue to wear year after year is your best bet and I would recommend going for a neutral colour. So I decided to include in my little capsule here this one from The Curated. This is a classic coat and it does have, I would say, a bit more of a slim fit, but it is relaxed at the same time. So this would be a great option if you wanted to purchase one coat that you could wear both for work and also on the weekend too. Uh, I do also have their boyfriend coat, which is much wider and a little bit more of a Scandinavian style fit as opposed to this one. So if you worked in more of a casual environment, I would say that one would be a little bit more appropriate. Appropriate. When it comes to shoes, there's really only one style that you need to have in your work wardrobe, and that is a great 
quad shoe or a pointed toe pump. Uh, I have these ones from Isabel Moron, which I purchased about seven years ago. Uh, they're absolutely fab because they have the little bow, which makes them feel a little bit more elevated than your plain uh, unembellished pump would. But this in a black and in a nude are great essentials for the office. So you can have black all year round, nude during the spring and summer and early autumn. I always like keeping my shoes underneath my desk at work or in a drawer so that I could wear a comfortable flat for my commute to work and then I could just quickly switch into something that was a little bit more elegant and office appropriate when I got to work. And finally, when it comes to bags for the office, there's really only one that you need, a great tote bag. My personal favorite for work has been this one here from Kuyana. This is called their Structured Tote Bag, and mine has held up so well over the years. It's a really beautiful textured leather. If you're in a very strict corporate environment, something that has a bit more structure and is maybe in a smooth leather might be a nicer option for you, just as that does feel a bit more dressed up than pebbled leather. Pebbled leather is a great option if you want to maximize versatility as it transitions so well from work to weekend though. And totes, of course, they fit everything in there. Your laptop, notebooks, lunch, a water bottle, a book to read on the train or the bus into work. Everything you need will fit in a tote and never ever going to go out of style. Those are the 12 pieces that I recommend having as your starter work wardrobe as a bit of a capsule where you have some in and out pieces which help you to really maximize your styling potential and options options that you have to wear. You can do a lot with very little and so now I want to show you how versatile these 12 core wardrobe basics or work wardrobe building blocks are and the different ways that you can pair them together. enjoyed this video that you found it informative and that you also got some outfit inspiration for the office thank you so so much for watching if you are new here and you want to see more videos from me then I would love to have you back please hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you get notified when new videos go live every single week I'll see you next time with a brand new video see you soon bye